offense get a little more desperate? Do you sense that at all? That maybe they start throwing a little more, taking more chances? And Talk you know, about our offense? When your offense wears down their defense, when you guys get a lead, and so you're facing the other team's offense, and they maybe get a little bit more desperate, can you sense that? Oh, yeah, definitely. When when uh, you start getting a lead on guys, that's when, as a secondary, you got to know the uh, – the altitude of the game. You got to know like what type, what's the situation of the game. So when you're up by 21 and they're not going to win the ball running, running between the tackles every time with not a lot of time left on the clock. So you got to realize that they're going to start opening up the playbook and start taking shots downfield or uh, maybe try to a uh, couple couple runs and then maybe a trick player there. You got to stay on your stay on your toes, but at the same time you got to realize what part of the game you're in. What do you attribute your success to, John? You seem to be around the ball. Like you're not making a smack tackle. You're around the ball. Is it video or that success come from? Probably just the guys I play next to. I think I got a lot of guys around me that play well and, and uh, great coaches, so I just credit, credit my success to the guys next to me that I line up next to and play battle with and, and the coaches. Preparation each week, I get the sense that you guys kind of know what's coming from your opponent. You're really well prepared. Yeah, I think we do a great job of um, studying the film and understanding, um, understanding our defense one, but understanding what um, the opposing team might come in and try to face face us against and get us off balance and, and I think our coach do a great job of that. What makes Terrell Turner uh, one of the funniest guys on the team? He's a clown. He's a clown. We've got that TV show, like what is it called, The Road Live at 45 or something like that. So he's just a guy who likes to have fun and, and a great guy to have in the locker room. When are you going to get on The Road Live at 45? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> nah, <laughs> maybe if they invite me on there. Uh, that'd, that'd be a, actually pretty fun to get on there with T. Turner. So me and him got a couple little jokes, inside jokes. I'll have to share a couple of those if they bring me on. Every time he has a guy on that show, they have a great game. Lavasia had a great game right after we had it. Paulson got his first touchdown right after. Clay got his. Well, then bring me on and maybe I'll have a great game. Now, you guys on defense, uh, I talked to Alan about this and whatnot. Do you, how would you match up you guys uh, size-wise, physical, physicality-wise versus, I guess, other teams? Do you feel that... Your, your maybe smaller sizes and advantage. You guys are faster, or um, you guys your aggressive nature kind of makes up for this lack of size that you guys have. Or I think you... size just depends on who we're, who we're facing. I think uh, um, size and all that extra number stuff is all overrated. I think it comes down to what type of heart you have, and I think we got a lot of guys that have heart and, and have that desire to win, and, and uh, I think that's why we're successful on defense. I had heard some guys talk about you in this past game about you know John Boyette, the way he plays. He has like no regard for his body. Like a, phys like a football player that you know will throw his body out there to try to make tackles and whatnot. When you play, do you kind of do you play like that? Like almost like a um, Bob Sanders type, where you don't care about you know I'm, I'm playing 110 percent all the time and, and whatever happens happens. But I play as hard as I possibly yeah, can. Yeah, you got to play 100 percent all the time. You know, if you're not playing 100 percent, you're selling out your teammates. You know, you got to play 100 percent um, for your teammates, for your fans, for your family, for the coaches. If, if you're not, you're selling out your team. Do you have a guy that you look up to like that? That's a, a, a safety or that you know you want to hit. Ronnie Lott. There's a lot of safeties in the NFL right now, but I think uh, the main guy you look back is Ronnie Lott. He gave gave his uh, best every single game and, and uh, showed he's a great safety. How nice was it for you?